Well, hey there, guys. It's, uh, it's been a while. We just got back from PAX, actually, and it was a pretty crazy weekend with lots of things constantly happening. It was great to see some of you there, though. Also, big congrats to NCIXPC for winning the Intel Rig Challenge. <laughs> Much congrats. Hopefully you saw some of our videos as well, and if not, you should, uh, yeah, you should watch them. We'll be releasing a few more as well, so keep your eyes open for those. But for now, we gotta get back to the tech news, guys. So, Samsung is recalling Note 7s, and it's going to cost them a lot of money. But let's talk about something else. A patent has appeared online showing a phone running Android and Windows simultaneously side by side. There was a phone about a year ago called Elephone that allowed users to boot up both Android and Windows, but separately. This patent describes what could be the first phone to run both operating systems at the same time, making it possible to share folders and whatever else between them. The patent was actually filed in 2015, but made public today on the Korea Intellectual Property Rights Information Service. Hmm. The patent also shows how the windows can be resized, so if you want to use Android as your primary operating system, or vice versa, just adjust them. But I mean, yeah, of course we have no idea if Samsung will actually go through with this, but is this something that you might be interested in, or does it sound kind of ridiculous? Let us know in the comments below. In NVIDIA news, the GTX 1050 hasn't quite been released, but specs for the card appeared online from the website Benchlife. The card features the GP107 part, which is supposed to compete with AMD and their more affordable line of RX graphics cards. The leak indicates that the GTX 1050 will run with a clock speed of 1316 MHz with boost up to 1380 MHz and 768 CUDA cores with 4 GB of GDDR5 memory on board clocked at 1752 MHz. The power draw is also much better with a TDP of only 75 watts compared to the 950's 90 watts. This is with much higher clock speeds as well. No price information yet, but the GTX 1050 is expected to be around $150, which would put it right in competition with AMD's RX 470. Speaking of AMD, the company announced that their 7th generation APU's Bristol Ridge will start shipping. Soon. AMD introduced eight new processors. There are five quad-core APUs, two dual-core, and one quad-core called Athlon X4, which is not an APU. AMD claims that Bristol Ridge easily outperforms its Intel equivalent by up to 100% in game performance. The new chips also promise 17% better performance per thread compared to the previous Carrizo generation, as well as support for DDR4 memory clocked up to 2400 MHz. They also provide 27% percent better graphics with Radeon GCN 3.0 cores. All eight processors will fit into the new AM4 socket, which of course will be featured in the more highly anticipated Summit Ridge Zen processors coming in early 2017. It's time for shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. I haven't actually said that in a pretty long time. All right. Dolphin Emulator has been trying to make the perfect GameCube emulator for some time, and now they've finally done it with the long-awaited edition of Star Wars Clone Wars. The Samsung-backed company Welt has launched a Kickstarter for their wellness belt that connects to an app and gives you information about your waistline, steps you've walked in a day, tracks how long you sit, and lets you know if you're overeating. Well, that sounds annoying. Smartphone leaker Evan Blast posted to Twitter that Huawei has built a 7-inch Google tablet, possibly the successor to the Nexus 7 featuring 4 gigabytes of RAM and should be released before the end of this year. Images for a small foldable DJI drone called Mavic have released online. It is supposedly 1.43 pounds and aimed at a wider market looking for easy transport and use. And Intel has bought Movidius, which is a company that builds AI and computer vision products processors for gadgets like drones and thermal cameras. Intel would like to use the expertise of Movidius to build high-speed, low-power chips for the RealSense cameras. All of the links for today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description below. Can you imagine an imaginary menagerie manager managing, managing an imaginary menagerie?
No, can you? Speaking of menageries, get yourself a menagerie of geek-related goodies with Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek, gamer, and pop culture gear. For less than 20 bucks a month, you can get a new package with collectibles, clothing, comic books, and unique one-of-a-kind items. But if you go to lootcrate.com ncix and use code ncix, you can get 10% off. Pretty good. Right here, in fact, we have the Loot Crate DX, which is the more premium option. It's from last month, August, which had the theme of anti-heroes. So let's take a look what we got in here. Oh, there he is, and DX. Wow, this looks fancy. Do 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 do. Oh, dead shot. There you go. That's the uh, that's the dead shot collectible action figure thing, or not a, a action figure, but the Suicide Squad belt here. Ha ha! I feel like Jack will like that with his colorful things. Handsome Jack mask. Speaking of Jack, almost in focus. Anti-hero dog chain type thing. Oh dang, dude. This looks cool. Boom! Right on, bruh. Right on, bruh. 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 Oh, sick. Oh, this is the Preacher comic. Cool. I just watched like the first episode of this on, uh, well, on my computer, but it's like on, they're, they're doing like a show on AMC. I might have to read this actually. And this is like a Deadpool cardboard type thing. I guess just like a, like a poster type deal that you can put somewhere. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you, Loot Crate. Loot Crate also has Level Up bundles, which is a separate Loot Crate focus only on apparel and accessories that also tie into the monthly theme. So let's see what we got here. Just gonna, just gonna see if we got. Oh, oh, this this guy. Oh, Suicide Squad socks, right on. And Marvel looks like the Punisher. Yeah, with the skull and stuff. Oh, oh, it's an Archer T-shirt. Thing that ah, pretty good. I don't know what this woman is from, but she looks frightening. Anyways. Ah, do, 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 Well, these just say DC. I don't know what... Who's this logo, though? Next month's theme will be speed, so there will be a goodies based on pop culture's quickest characters and vehicles like The Flash, Batman, Iron Man, and more. But you have to sign up before September 19th to get this crate, otherwise it's gone forever. So, if this tickles your inner nerd, go to lootcrate.com slash ncix to get 10% off. Alright guys, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Um, talk to the team on Twitter over here. Comment below for fans with benefits. And, um, yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, well, I'm pretty tired from PAX, so I think I'm gonna go now. Maybe have a sleep. Maybe watch Mr. Robot. I tried to wait until the end of the season to start watching, but I don't know. I love that show. Anyways, yeah, I'll see ya.